Want a stream of weird news? Well, you're gonna get it. What I mean by weird is, of course, good things. Like, what the tech things? Like this. Ew, creepy, that's a bug wearing frickin' eyepieces. And this! Oh my god, that's actually an adorable little guy! Hmm, let me try this again. How about this? Nope, nope, that's just a pin. Oh, happy 2nd of May, everyone. I have the busiest weekend of weeks coming up. How about you? Cinco de Mayo's on Monday. I hope you go have margaritas. If you're in Austin, we have good margaritas, but as for agave instead of sweet and sour, that stuff is gross. Welcome to the Redheaded Geek Show, because that's what this is. Not martini talk. Maybe I should do martini talk. <laughs> Believe it or not, my show is about technology. I guess I'm just at a point at this 61st episode where I want you guys to know me a little better. Let's talk about Google Glass, one of my favorite things to complain about and make fun of. If I'm not complaining about Google Glass, the only other time I will talk about it is when I have some sort of interesting information, something that makes me go, whoa. was that. So if you're like me and wouldn't want to part with 1500 frickin' bucks for an unproven piece of sh tech, then you're a smart person. And here is an option. If you got a 3D printer and a Raspberry Pi, make your own computer you can mount on your face. Hey, at this point, if you're gonna wear a computer on your face, who cares if you look a bit weird? Because you're going to no matter what. Did I just yell at you guys? Did I just yell? Sorry. See this? See it? This is a little Raspberry Pi, a little tiny computer that can run off batteries for quite a while. Now that you've got that, all you need is to build a display for it. Here is the video. I'll also leave a link in the video description below. It is the Adafruit tutorial. The setup is so incredibly easy. So now you do have plans for the weekend and it won't even take that much time. Hey, and if your friends call you a nerd for building a little Raspberry Pi thingy to wear on your face, it's just because they're boring. Geeks are sexy. But really, who can argue with that? What has gotten into me? I don't know, life? Anyway, speaking of glasses and interesting things, what the hell is going on here? Scientists are putting the world's smallest 3D glasses on praying mantises to improve robotics. You know, the most normal news you've ever heard. It's cute and frightening. I need my mom. This is real. I am not joking with you. A new research project at the Newcastle University Institute of Neuroscience is exploring how praying mantises, yeah, I thought it was manti too, process 3D vision in hopes of opening up the possibility of creating simpler algorithms for programming 3D vision into robots and computers. Computers. The scientists put the pair of 3D glasses on the insects using beeswax. Why praying mantises? Because they are the bugs known for their stereoscopic vision where they can basically see crazily similar to humans. You know how we can see moving objects in various depths? They can do that. Even if this research ends up proving nothing for robotics and such, we can still always look back at these photos and remember how badass these little guys looked wearing miniature sunglasses. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm realizing out of all the emotions I originally felt, this most of all is hilarious and cute. I'm not scared anymore except the fact that they eat their mates alive. Yeah, women can be mean. Next, I want you guys to check out Boomer, the robotic dinosaur. I am just full of amazingly fun stuff this week. Isn't he so cute? Don't you want him? See the way he's reacting to the human? It's because those greenish bluish eyes can see the man's hand. As you can hear, he makes dinosaur noises, or what we think dinosaurs sound like. Have you ever had that moment when you actually remember that dinosaurs existed 
Sometimes that happens to me and I just sit here thinking, how in the hell? Sorry about that. For those of you who know me, I do that dinosaur thought thing from time to time. Because I am digressing, here is more adorable footage of Boomer eating a piece of paper. Silly Boomer, you can't swallow. <laughs> Here's the man having a miniature death wish. Silly man. Anyways, Boomer can actually act out general motions and can sit and speak on command. It's like a dog, like dino dog. I don't really have much else to tell you about Boomer except that he exists. I'm 28 years old and I want one. I'm sure my cats would go crazy. They would love that. This, guys, the Lix 3D Pin draws solid lines throughout the air without the need for paper. You just plug it in and heats up and works a lot like a hot glue gun, but more fun. That was cheesy. As you can see, it dries instantly. Look at these mind-blowing works of art created by the Lix Pen. I mean, not just pretty stuff, but functional stuff around the house. But, oh, oh, now that, that's cool. That's beautiful. This pen is on Kickstarter, so I will leave a lovely link in the video description below in case you want to become a backer or order one. Nope, not telling how much they are. Go find out on your own. Listen, you guys, let's talk. Psych! Hope you enjoyed my rambling today. Hope you learned something. That's why I'm here. Please leave me comments, ask me questions, or just say hi in the comment area below. Speaking of, I know I share my show on Google Plus a lot. I love, love, love that you guys give me plus ones and comments and questions on Google Plus, but please refer to the YouTube comment section below for those things. I want everything to kind of be in the same place. That way I can answer everything for everyone to see. I'm not sure how to end this one. I've done the couple times in a row. I'm sure you're sick of that. Hmm, what does my audience like? Oh yeah.